Hello, this is Billy Core from the Nostalgia Mall, and today I'm going to show you something that I just brought home from the thrift store this afternoon. Take a look at this thing. Yes, this is a uh, very interesting Sony Bio desktop from, I believe, 2003 or so. And you can even fold down the keyboard like so. This comes from the Pentium 4 Windows XP era. This model is a, oh, what is it? A PCB-W20. And I did turn it on a while ago. I can confirm it does work just fine. I think it does need a new CMOS battery, though, but I don't know how to open this thing up to replace it yet. Very glossy screen. You can see the uh, keyboard, uh, the back of the keyboard right here is uh, a little bit yellowed, but nothing uh, outrageous. Okay, going to go handheld so we can take a closer look. We have some special Sony function keys. For mail, internet, music, picture, DVD, and help. And there's our keyboard. Feels like a laptop keyboard. We've got two stereo speakers that sound really good, by the way. And designed for Windows XP and Intel Pentium 4 inside. And we'll turn it around. And on the right side, right here, we've got a DVD-ROM slash CD-RW drive. Over here, we've got a plethora of ports. We've got headphone out, line in, mic in. We've got Ethernet, telephone, two Firewire ports, Ethernet, and three USB 2.0 ports and two PC card slots. So they took a page out of the uh, eMachine Z1 there. So that's really cool. And here's the back. It looks like this is uh, removable and this is actually coming off it looks like. Uh, you can see some of the inside of it. So that's how you get inside, you just take these two screws off. There's our uh, model information. And on this side, we get what I believe is a vent. And on the screen, we've got, we've got uh, screen controls and a Sony memory stick slot of which I do not have, so we can't be testing that today, unfortunately. Okay, I've got it hooked up. All I had to plug in was power and the mouse, and this did not come with the original mouse, unfortunately. And the power connector is just a standard standard desktop uh, PC cord, so uh, nothing proprietary there. And our power button is right here. See if we can go into setup. Okay, we've got a Samsung uh, drive. Only got a measly 512 megs of memory. I think the hard drive might be 60 gigs. But pretty standard BIOS. Uh, Pentium 4 is a bit of a lower speed. It's a 1.8 gigahertz uh, Pentium 4. And I did go into Windows earlier, and yeah, you can sort of feel that. <laughs> this is actually the first uh, Sony VAIO computer I've ever owned. CMOS checksum error. I just didn't have it unplugged long, and the time and date's still there. Let's try this again. Uh, 
Head it into Windows XP. Slowly but surely we're getting there. <laughs> Pretty sure this is the original uh, install from around 02, 03. Maybe we'll just use Nathan's account. That's what I was on earlier. I will not be showing any personal information on here. I would completely wipe the hard drive, but there's an issue with that I'll get into momentarily. Yeah, it's going to take a while. <laughs> this is not a fast computer. Okay, finally got a startup sound out of it. And there's the original Sony Vio uh, desktop background. So this is the original Sony install. That thing is trying to install the driver for the mouse. Okay, mouse is working now, but everything else is still trying to load. This. Again, may take a few minutes. <laughs> this is why I don't delve into this era of computer that much. <clears throat> Main reason I bought this was just for the form factor. If it had been a standard uh, desktop tower, I would have uh, ignored it, probably. Okay, maybe we can get somewhere, somewhere more interesting at least. And you can see there's plenty of programs on here. Adobe Photoshop Elements, Aloha Bob PC Relocator, <laughs> I've never heard of that. AT&T Internet Security Wizard. That's definitely not around anymore. And they were, I guess, making labels on here with Avery Design Pro. Not sure what CA is. CA Internet Security Suite, okay. Color Reel. Not sure what that is. Compaq. Uh, they must have had a compact printer or camera on here. Compaq Win DVD. And Power DVD XP for VIO. That's probably what originally came on here. DV Gate. That's presumably for the Firewire. Standard Microsoft games, including some Yahoo games. Google Earth. HP DeskJet 5550 series printer with HP PhotoSmart and Share to Web. iTunes. Keyboard closure setup that I guess controls what you do when you uh, shut the keyboard up. Trying Carta Online Deluxe. Some office tools, I'm not sure what version is on here. Mood Logic, Movie Shaker, must be some video editing. Network Smart Capture, Paper Poor, Parsons Technology, Picasa 2, Pico Player, 
real one player. Of course, everyone remembers that. And the de facto uh, software for making CDs back then, Roxio Easy CD Creator, Screen Blast, whatever that is. Soft Key with uh, Calendar Creator for Windows. Sonic Stage. Bio Action Setup. Not sure what that does. Bio Media. I think this is if you wanted to use this computer as a media server. Bio System Information. WordPerfect Office 2000. Got Yahoo stuff. Yahoo Messenger. I, I would. I used to have that back then. Okay, Acrobat Reader 5.1. Got Office on here, probably either 2000 or 2002. Sony on Yahoo Essentials, and of course QuickTime and Music Jukebox. Let's see, is other. Oh, yeah, we get this uh, Corel Central uh, Desk Planner software that comes up. See if we get different colors of this wallpaper. Sometimes Sony used to do that. Uh, it doesn't look like it. But we can go to system information uh, or uh, device manager, I mean. Okay, this is XP Home Edition Service Pack 3. I'm assuming this originally had Service Pack 1 on it when it was first built. 480 megs of RAM, 1.79 gigahertz, Pentium 4, so this ain't going to be winning any speed awards. And it gets worse, by the way. <laughs> Once we open Device Manager. For video, we have an SIS650 video card. Yeah. It's bad enough having an SIS on a Windows 98 computer, but when you have it on an XP computer, oh, you, you know you're in for some, uh, some trouble then. Okay, Texas Instruments, uh, Firewire. Okay, we've got Ethernet. We don't have uh, wireless on here, unfortunately. Our PC card slots, Pentium 4, SIS audio. So this is a, uh, there's a lot of SIS stuff on this system, unfortunately. One thing I haven't checked to see is what the screen resolution is by default. I think I may have an idea of what it is, but I just want to confirm it. Well, this is a widescreen display. Okay, I thought this was going to be 1280 by 800, but this is actually 1280 by 768. It, that's not really a wide picture, but it looks like it's wide. Head it to my computer, see how they've got things set up. They got two partitions on here, uh, a 14 gig partition and I think a uh, 40 gig partition. I don't know if it was like that from the factory or if the original owner was messing around with partitioning software and did something dirty. Yeah. So yeah, 40 gig hard drive, uh, not 40 gig, a uh, 60 gig hard drive it looks like. Got AOL 6.0 and 9.0 on here as well. Now, I was mentioning wiping the hard drive being a problem a while ago, and here's why. This computer has specific Sony software that allows things like the uh, controls and the uh, folding up the keyboard feature to uh, work properly. 
and that requires the original restore media for this computer. And I was hoping uh, I'd be able to find it online because it seems like these days uh, just about every computer has its restore CD online now. But unfortunately, this is one that doesn't. I checked archive.org, I checked everywhere, it doesn't exist. I tried one for the next model up, the W30, that will not work on here. It's too different enough to uh, work on this one. So it puts me kind of in an awkward position because I, I can't keep the personal data on here. And it would be a lot of trouble to uninstall all the stuff I don't need. It would be a lot easier to just wipe the drive and put a fresh copy of Windows on here. But then I run into the problem of not having the original software on here that makes this uh, thing work properly. So I'm asking you if anyone has restore media for this uh, Sony Vio, please let me know. I could really, really use it. And if you're wondering what happens when you shut the keyboard, screen dims out, and you get this cool little uh, digital display with a clock and uh, the date and time, and the Sonic Stage uh, logo there. And fold it back down, voila, back to normal. One thing I haven't tried yet is uh, one of these buttons. Let's see what the uh, music button does. Okay, it's launching Sonic Stage, apparently. Or maybe not. <laughs> And quickly, I do want to try playing a DVD on here. Okay, and this is just some random commercials I digitized off of a VHS from 1997. Okay, I guess we can use a uh, power DVD for this. Here we go. Always like power DVD. Okay, good sign. We're at the main menu. It's tough to describe a headache. You just want it gone. There's Tylenol, but two Advil work better on tough headache pain. There is Excedrin, but that's aspirin, and the ingredient in Tylenol, and caffeine. I don't want all that. I'll go with Advil. It's gentle on my stomach, and nothing has proven to work better or last longer than Advil. Nothing. And from the makers of Advil, Children's Advil. It lowers fevers faster than Children's Tylenol and lasts almost twice as long. Children's Don't you Advil. dare speak ill of Tylenol. <laughs> okay, that made the dog mad. <laughs> Okay, that's all there is to show today. I just wanted to give you a general overview of what this computer's like. So if anyone has Restore Media for this computer, I would highly appreciate if you'd let me know because uh, I'm kind of stuck without it. So anyway, until next time, this is Billy Core signing off. Thank you for visiting the Nostalgia Mall. Please follow me on social media for channel and project updates. 
You may also support me on Patreon or as a channel member if you'd like. Until next time, this is Billy Core signing off.